I'm kind of dreading it, kind of excited. I always like to get back to work, but you know, you love the summertime too. Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing my teacher planner setup. I'm going back to work in about a week um, to get in some work days for my instructional coaching position. And I need to get this set up so that I am ready to go to back to work. I always like to get back to work, but you know, you love the summertime too. Um, so let's talk supplies here. So we're gonna be working through this planner, getting it ready for the school year, but I have lots of supplies. So these are the markers I'm gonna be using this year. Last year I used like a bunch of Tombos and it was so fun, but this year I found these and I just fell in love with them. They're just so beautiful. I love the color combo. By the way, if you're interested in previous setup videos, because I do a different theme every year, check the description. I will link some of those down there. But back to this theme, I've got these markers from EC. They're so pretty. I saw this color scheme and I just, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. It's so pretty. And then this book really inspired me, the Cool for School Designer Sticker Book Edition 7. Um, these colors are just so beautiful. So this is what we're going to go with this year. I just love these so much. Like the jewel tones with the, the peach. I just, I love this. It's going to be really fun to do something different this year. Last year was really neutral, which I did love, but this year I needed to do something with a bit more punch. So I'm just really excited to <laughs> do something different and be creative in my teacher planner. I keep it pretty simple in here, but at the same time, I like to have a little fun too. Okay, other stickers. I've got these from the sticker party, and then I've got a name sticker from According to Allie. This is the main sticker situation. I got a bunch of stickers from Scribble Prince Co. Some labels. Basically everything I got last year, but in a different colorway. So we've got super bright, fun colors. So just a bunch of like different types of labels and boxes. And then the rest of these are, if we get past all of those, these are everything that I had last year. So this is more of a muted colorway, but I think I can still use it. Like, I'm not gonna like get rid of these. I'm just gonna continue to use them this year, even though they're a little bit more like it's the neutral colorway from Lexi Kali Designs. This is the colorful, but I feel like I can still use these, so I'm gonna go for it. And then back here, I've got some from Fox and Pip, Coffee Monsters Co. And then these are just some random um, like stickers I used to decorate the weeks and stuff. But this year, I'm thinking I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stick to like these stickers and some washi. So let me show you the washi I'm gonna use this year. So cute. Okay, this seems like a random batch of washi. These are all from Simply Gilded except for these from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, these were in my stash um, that I just wasn't using, so I figured might as well use them on my teacher planner. And then these came in the recent subscription, which I am loving. I get the like, I can't remember what it's called, it's like the $27 one. It comes every three months and it's so cute. This one has like work stuff. Oh, it's so adorable. And then this one has like notebooks and speech bubbles, little um, sticky notes. It's really cute. Okay, so that's all from Coffee Monsters Co. The rest of these are from Simply Gilded. So <laughs> these I just went on the website, looked at um, a, just a bunch of bright colors. This is what I came up with. So in addition to these from Coffee Monsters Co, I've got these neon ones, which are really fun. These have a different texture than the normal uh, washies, but that doesn't bother me. So we've got two sets, one with like pink and orange. And then this one has like um, a darker yellow to lighter yellow. And then these are like the desert ones. These are so cute. I really just was drawn to the colors, but I love the desert scenes in both of these. It's like the same scene, just different colorways. So those are really fun. And then I've got this book washi, which I've always wanted. Now I had a reason to get it. And then the last two, again, just random, but the right colors. This one, so pretty, has a little silver bow on it. And then this one is like a mandala one, really pretty. 
rose gold. I don't mind mixing metals and colors and everything in here. Okay, so the other things with my teacher planner are covers and like accessories. I keep it pretty simple, like I said, but I found these. They're like semi-new on the website and I just was really excited because I have the focus planner and it doesn't have a pocket or anything. So I grabbed these. It came in a set of three. Um, right now I'm thinking only one or two is like needed covers. These are so fun. So this one I'm going to start the year off with, I think. I really do love this blue cover. It's so pretty, but it's not one of the interchangeable ones. Unfortunately, I do have one, but last year I just cut it off and used these um, covers because I love them so much. So I don't know how long I will keep the blue cover on, probably until school starts. And then I will switch it up with this one, which is so pretty. I just love the colors. Again, this is the color scheme I'm going for. And then we've got this really pretty one with the books. It's just really gorgeous. And then this one is just super fun. It's the same on the back and the front. And then this is the last one, just really fun colors. <laughs> and it's the same, really beautiful. So we're going to work from the front to the back, just adding things that I know that I've needed over the past couple of years. I adapt this planner to my style and my needs. So I am an instructional coach for most of the day and I do teach one class, my favorite class, world history. I love it so much. So I kind of make this into more of an instructional coaching uh, planner, but I also have a section for my teaching, of course. So you can kind of see both of those throughout the planner. So before we get into this, this is the 7x9 EC Focus Planner or Teacher Lesson Planner. I have been using this particular one for one year. And before that, I used the 8 half by 11 one, the big one. Um, and I just have found I need less space. And this one has worked really well for me. So first thing we're going to start with is my name sticker. I just went through here and put post-its on everything. I think I'm going to use one of the big ones. This is from According to Allie. She comes out with these like every once in a while. And whenever she does, I always post on my Instagram stories. Because I use these a lot. More often than I would think. Okay. But they're very delicate, so you got to be real careful. I have torn them before and I probably will tear them again, like right now. <laughs> and I tore it. Okay. <laughs> I got it in two pieces. Ah. Okay. And we're going to lay down this big one first. I don't really leave my planner around, so I don't feel the need to put like my name and number in here. It stays in my office. A little crooked, but that's fine. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, definitely crooked, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, so that's the first page. You can put whatever you want there. This page I totally adapt to whatever I need. So <laughs> we're gonna switch everything up. I usually put my bell schedules here, but we don't know what the bell schedule is gonna be just yet. So I'm just going to put in a label here. Actually, let's lay down some washi first just to make this look a little cuter. Okay, so I want to use the book. And I really like this neon washi. It's super fun. Um, let's use this one, which is super cute. Okay, so we're going to do bell schedules here. This is going to be for my like days off. I like to track those, which last year they got blown up toward the end of the school year because <laughs> I got a really bad kidney and liver infection and I was in the hospital and not fun, but I missed like, I don't know, two weeks of school. It was terrible. Do not wish that on anyone, but feeling good. I have a checkup next week, which hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to white out this because I'm not going to use that information. This, this stuff on this page is mainly like for elementary school teachers, in my opinion. 
So I'm going to put this, I'm just going to tear that a little bit. And I put this across the top. For no other reason than just to look a little cute. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this just right in here. It's so bright. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So over here in this section, I'm also going to wipe this out. So we have to, as high school teachers, perform like duty, extra duties, um, which includes like concession stand and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to put my name up here and then this section is going to be to keep track of my work days. So I have to do 10 before school starts and then this is going to be like my um, like duty dates. We won't know our duty dates until probably like the second week of our work days like in when all the teachers are back. I'm not sure exactly what days I'm going to be working. But I know that like one of them is going to be uh, July 11th. So that's all I got right now. But I could like to space them out a little bit. Okay, this side, I don't know the bell schedules for sure because we're switching them up a little bit this year. But we have like a regular bell schedule and a pep rally schedule. We use the pep rally schedule off, obviously for pep rallies, but also for like special events and stuff. So I'm just going to label these so I remember to put them there. So I'm going to take this off. This is gonna be like my days off log. So we get 10 days um, at the beginning of the year, school year. And I blew through mine last year. <laughs> Obviously I had to dip into my like savings of days, but I like to keep track of those days that I take off like on purpose so that I know that I'm not going over especially since I used quite a few of my saving days. <laughs> so I'm just gonna split this up into two. And this is gonna be the fall, this is gonna be the spring. Okay, so this is the fall, this is the spring. Okay, all right. So I don't have any like scheduled days off yet, but I'll fill those in as it comes. Okay, so these day, or these pages are pretty much set up and ready to go. I love the swashy so much. Okay, I don't even use these pages, so we're going to skip over to this. Okay, this is <laughs> usually a big task. I like to set up my school calendar on these pages. So I think last year I might have used dot marker. No, I used mild liners. So I think this year we're going to use the markers, these guys, for this section. These are just so pretty. Okay, let me get these out. They're definitely not going to stay in the container for very long. Okay, so there's several different things that I need to um, make a little key up here. Okay, so we're going to start up here. Um, it really does not matter what colors we use. So I'm just going to use this orange. And then we'll just go down the line, I think. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, I remember last year... Instead of doing little boxes, I did like the whole, like the, all the words. So let me do that real quick. So first is the first day of the grading period. We use six weeks. So we have six, six weeks. Um, then we have testing dates or like star testing or like state testing or like um, we do all sorts of like uh, SAT, ACT, all the like college tests. Okay, then we have weather days, like inclement weather days. The last couple of years, we haven't even used any, which has been kind of nice. We have professional development days. We also have half day professional development days. We have holidays. I'm just going to use a little circle for the first and last day of school. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute and then we're going to strategize here. So I don't think I'm going to put anything in July besides the 31st. We have our one of our professional development days. On the 31st which is crazy but I think it's gonna be a work from home day which is really nice okay so orange and then this pretty purple these are cool because they have a black pen on the other side so nice genius actually that is gorgeous okay green weather days Oops. okay and then let's use this pretty yellow this mermaid oh, that's my favorite I love that and then let's use like a, a peach. Okay, that's not really peach, but 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready to actually go in to the calendar. So I'm going to speed you through this because it's going to take me a minute because I like to do it correctly. I've messed up on this so many times. So I'm going to speed you through, probably play some music and you can just watch my process. Okay, I don't know all of the testing days yet, but I'll put those in here when I do know those. Okay, so I think we're ready to move on to this page. Last year I did like just a little journaling, but then I got sick and I didn't finish out the year, which I'm really sad about because I really would have liked to have looked back at it, but I can't go back and remember any of that. So I just left it blank. Um, I'm going to grab these month stickers because we're going to re, not in renumber, re-month these because I do not like the order that they come in. So this planner is July to June of the next year. Why is it January to December? I don't know. I've complained about this every year and it has yet to change. So um, it's not going to change, I'm guessing. I just wish they would leave it blank. And then we could just write our own month in there. But since they do have them already listed here, we're going to wipe these out because I would like to start with July. I think last year maybe I started with, no, I started with July. So you could start with August or if you start school in September, then you could start in September. Okay, so we're going to start with over here. I have these stickers from the sticker party. They're kind of big, but I really like them. They're Amy Tangerine's handwriting. So we're gonna put the July one right here. I think this is gonna look really cool. In August. Right here. And so forth. So I'm gonna put these in. I'll be back in a sec. I'm not going to do June because we're not in school in June, so I'm just going to leave that one out. And here is this page all done. I love this. It's going to be really fun. Hopefully, I'm going to remember to do it. I need to just, like, set a reminder in my phone or, like, in my Outlook calendar. I don't know. My Google calendar. Any of those. <laughs> to remind me to do this because I think I will like the result at the very end. Okay. Now we have graph paper. So what I usually do with these pages is create a seating chart. So we're just going to get the, um, the post-its ready and then I'm just going to place them here and then we'll organize later. Okay, so I just grabbed a few post-its here and I'm going to take my scissors and gonna, it's really easy with like flags, but I don't have any, I don't know why I don't have any flags at home. So I'm just going to cut these into flags. I don't know how many kids are going to be in my class this year. Last year I had four. <laughs> I teach at a very small rural school. It's very diverse. I love our kids so much. They come from all different backgrounds. But 
our enrollment is down a little bit. It has been since COVID and we're trying to recover from that. So maybe I'll have more than four kids in my class. I don't know. Maybe I'll have two or three. <laughs> we'll just have to see. But I do always love my class so much. I'm just going to put some extras in here just in case. You know, who knows what's going to happen. But um, I don't know how I'm going to arrange my, my classroom this year. So I'm just going to leave these here. And then I will draw in my classroom wherever whichever page I want and then I'll put their names on the stickies and I'll put them down in their spots so I can very easily like scan this or copy it for subs okay now we're getting to the meat and the potatoes of this situation okay monthly calendar so what I like to do is put in everything from this calendar plus anything else I think of that I need to put in here. I usually don't put meetings in here because I have so many meetings it would fill up the whole space but I like to add in monthly events and I have a note in here to add in a pocket one of those little snap in pockets we'll do that after this. Okay so we have a July calendar here very simple each month looks the same very very simple We've got weekly pages here. I like how neutral and just straightforward it is. So what I want to do now is I'm going to grab some labels and stuff in here. I also have some cute stickers that I'll use. I also have these stickers, which I'm probably going to tear out of here and put into my little binder. I also have a lot of washi. So I want to add just a little something to each of these pages and I'll be able to mark off like spring break and uh, winter break and all of those things in here and I like to have this set up before school starts so we're gonna do that it's gonna take me a minute but let's do this month together and then I'll speed you through the rest of the months so July main thing here is I need to put in my work days that I need to complete so I kind of have a calendar like I don't know exactly what I want to do but I have an idea and if I need to rip up the washi I can but let's use this one it's really cute and we're gonna put in um, my work days and I'll use a little label to mark that in so I'm gonna start with a little tear here I know I'm gonna go in the 11th and 12th and the 13th I like to have my weekends free <laughs> in July just so that I can relax just a little bit okay so we work on the 31st let me just, hold on. Okay, I've kind of planned these out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do the 17th, whoops, the 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. So four days that week, but still have the weekend. The only reason I'm not working on the 10th is because I have a doctor's appointment. And then we're going to do the 25th through the 27th. So I'll have like a four-day weekend in there. I have not been able to... Um, do any kind of vacation this summer. It's just been hard because I was sick at the beginning, had surgery, not fun. And then my mom is going through um, breast cancer treatment, if you didn't know. And so we've been helping with that and helping with my sister, um, Chase, who is our middle sister, who is um, intellectually delayed, disabled, however you want to say it. And she needs some help and um guidance and um we needed to care for her while my mom's going through all of this so it's been a wild summer is what i'm trying to get at and hopefully when school comes around we'll have a little bit more normalcy i don't know if chase is going to come back and stay with us again we'll just have to see i don't even know okay let's use um one of these guys I'll grab this one because it kind of matches <laughs> and I'll mark in that these are my work days so instructional coaching work days um usually it uh, has a slow start and then it gets real busy like right in here <laughs> right before the teachers come back okay I'm gonna grab this book and grab something for the when the teachers come back uh, it's kind of small down here, so let me get a little bit smaller of a sticker. Okay, let me grab one of these little paper clips. 
and then we're just going to write it in since it's a small space. So that is July done. Now I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to speed you through because it's going to take me a minute to get the rest of these all set up for the rest of the months. Okay, now <laughs> that we have all that in, let's just take a little recap of these. So we have July, and this will look much more full and colorful by <laughs> the end of the month. I usually do a plan with me in this planner, like a weekly one, every month, and then I'll show you like the monthly spreads, just a little heads up. Oh, I forgot to fill this in. Let me grab something for this. Maybe one of these guys. I like this one a lot and I use them so much. Let's use this one. Yeah. Okay, that's cute. Okay, here is August, September, October, which looks really sparse. Uh, November, December, whoa, super bright. January, February, March. I love that one. April. I'm definitely going to need to take like a three day weekend in April. That looks so brutal. And then we have May. I don't really fill out June because I don't work summer school. So I'm just going to leave that one. 
Okay, so let's go back to July. I kind of want to experiment with how I'm going to use my weekly because last year I used like Tombows and stuff and I'm using these highlighters this year and I think it's going to look a little different but good. So I just want to see how that looks. So last year I did all of my teaching stuff on this side. So I'm just going to put in, let's just grab one of these. I love this color so much. <laughs> and I'm just going to write across like that. Um, I usually like to add in a little bit of color here and on the numbers. Okay, and then let's go over here. And I usually do like one label here and here. Whoops, that one kind of puttered out. And then here. And then this section is usually my like to-do list so i'm just gonna put this here okay so let's just see how this looks whoa <laughs> it's so bright um okay then let me just label these see how it looks okay so last year i did events here and that didn't always work so maybe this year i'm gonna try goings on i don't know i don't know what else what other word I could use besides events? It's just like things that are happening, like school events. This is usually for meetings for myself. Um, notes could be like something I want to try out or something like a reflection. And then over here, I would put in like my classroom to do. It's like if I had a birthday, like a kid birthday, I usually bring them a little something or like I have tutorials or a detention, I'll put that over here. I really like to keep them separate so that my brain knows what I'm doing, like what mode I'm supposed to be in, whether it's teacher or instructional coach. And then I usually like to add a little bit of washi, like down here and maybe like even in here, like that. And then I'll, I have a template I use for my lesson plans let me show it to you real quick. I have my planner from last year. So here's October. So this is what my template would look like here. This is, I just really loved my style last year. I'm just going to do it more bright this year. I just think it's going to look really cute. Okay, so this is what I'm going for, except for just super in your face, bright colors. Oh, I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, last thing here is we've got some covers, which I don't think I'm gonna put on just yet because I do really like this cover. Um, I'll keep it on, like I said, till school starts, but I do have these like pockets. So I'm gonna go to the back. I think that's where I want it. Uh, the beauty of this is you can move it around, which is really nice. So I'm gonna pop this in. It's really hard to pop in. I tried it yesterday and for some reason, the material this is made out of does not pop very well. And you kind of have to push it in a little bit in some spots. And the little teeth get, um, I feel like jammed in there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard. Usually I can pop in like covers and stuff really easily. But this material for some reason, a little tougher. Okay, what I'm thinking in this pocket, which is gonna stay back here for now I think. <laughs> I'm gonna put in our master schedule which is not quite done. My principal has emailed me a couple times with it but it's not finished yet so I'm not gonna print it off yet. Um, I'm also gonna put in the observation schedule because while I'm not observed my teachers are and I want to make sure that I help them meet their deadlines and I know what's going on in terms of that because I help them a lot with their evaluations. I have another one but I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. If I find a use for it, then I will definitely snap it in here. But for now, I don't, I don't know what to do with this one. And then back here, I've got these checklists and stuff. And I never use these because I just haven't found a use for them that works for me. I've tried a lot of different things. Like this is not, I mean, I could use this as a grade book, but I prefer a digital grade book. Um, I've tried like putting the teacher names in here. I don't know. I just haven't found a use that works 
yet for me, but that's back there. Um, I usually either tear them out or like um, washi and stuff over these. So now we have a pocket back here, which is really nice. I also have some other pockets. I've got these corner pockets. I don't want to put it on the cover because then it will like, you know, when I take the cover off, it'll go away. But these like big adhesive pockets, maybe I could put one at the front. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think about these. I'm not, I'm just not quite sure if I want to use one or not. Okay. So I feel like I'm ready to go back to work. Um, the next thing I need to do is work on my back to school checklist. Um, last year I did it in a Google Doc and it worked really well. I pasted it in here. Let me see. I don't think I, I can show you this one to cover up a little bit of this. So I put in location, like which campus or if it's all district or my classroom. And then I put in the task, which I can check off here or like on the Google Doc. The third uh, column is for like who I need to talk to about it and then the timeline is like work day week one work day week two and then like into school so this was super helpful for me I did like three or four pages of it and it worked really well for me so highly recommend that if you need more organization than just a list okay I think that is it wow okay we are over an hour on this video I'm gonna cut it down so that it's manageable for y'all to consume but I really enjoy always doing my setup videos they're so fun that I just feel like more ready you know like it's just cathartic to like do all of this stuff in here it just feels good Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got some ideas, please let me know down below. And if you have ideas for me or anybody else, please leave those down in a comment. I'd love to hear from you and any other ideas you have going into the school year. I know it's been a tough couple of years, but I feel like we're finally like starting to get our feet under us and I'd love to hear what you have in store for the next year. Um, I am super interested in AI tools and I'm gonna be sharing that with my teachers a lot more to make their lives easier. Let me know what you're excited about when it comes to like trends or methods or anything that you want to share. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload and I'll see you next time. Bye!